Well hello and welcome to my latest video. First of all, first of all, you notice I've, I've had a haircut and I've just been to the barbers and I went in and the barber guy put, put his hands through my hair as they do and he said, uh, uh, who, who did your hair then? And I said, my daughter. And he said, hmm. And he started cutting it and he was cutting it for about five minutes and uh, he, he was wearing a mask, as I was. No, no, not a mask, he was wearing a visor. That's why right, I was wearing a mask. And he said to me, how old is your daughter? And I said, she's, she's 28. I said, you think she's eight years old, don't you? And he said, uh, tell, her to, tell her to stick to the day job because she's made your hair look a bit old fashioned. So I hope you like, I hope you like my new hairstyle. And the reason I've got this new hairstyle is as some of you may know, uh, I've been retired for a few years. I just started a new job. Uh, started on Monday, not not full time, part time, but uh, I've done a few days' work. So I thought it was about time to smarten myself up. I don't want to look like one of those one of those old codgers who uh, who sits on park benches and has got a bit to seed. Which, to be honest, I was starting to look like. So I thought I'd I'd smarten myself. I'd tidy myself up, and I thought I'd come to a video. I'd put on a nice nice uh, polo shirt. www.oldportlandcc.co.uk, being the cycling club that I'm a member of, and come and do you guys a video now. What is the video about? Well, about six weeks ago, two months ago, I did a video which was called Seven Reasons Why You Don't Need to Buy a Gravel Bike. And I want to say that video has been very, very popular and it's been watched by a lot of people. And I want to thank all of the people who've watched that video, all the people who've made comments, all of the people who've subscribed to my channel on the back of that video, because as a result of you guys watching that video, and increasing my subscriber count over a thousand. My channel is now monetized, which means I can raise money for charity. And the charity that I've chosen is the Vine Food Bank, which is in Croydon, which is in the UK. The reason I'm saying the UK, because although I appreciate all of you people who watch me from the UK will know where Croydon is, or most of you will, uh, a lot of people actually watch me from not in the UK. In fact, a lot of people watch from the States. You may not know where Croydon is. Uh, Croydon is known as the, as the Venice of England or even the, the New York of England, or the, the Constantinople. No, it's not Constantinople, is it? It's Istanbul, the Istanbul of England. It is one of the finest, one of the finest cities uh, in the Western world. It's a, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, there are lots of things to see in uh, uh, Croydon. So if you're ever over this part of the, the world, do pay a visit to Croydon. Uh, it will uh, it, it will impress you. It will amaze you. Uh, it may even surprise you because you may have read things about Croydon. You think, well, I've never seen Croydon referred to as the New York of England. Well, don't trust everything you read and don't trust everything you see on YouTube. Take my word for it. Anyway, what is this video about? Yeah, I made this video. Seven reasons why you don't buy a gravel bike. A lot of people watch it. A lot of people liked it. But I thought I'd do a response to it because some people, some people were a little bit sniffy uh, about that video and some people made some comments, a lot of people made really nice comments, but some people made comments a little bit, a little bit wondering whether I was uh, being entirely serious, whether I was telling the truth or whether I've completely misunderstood the concept of a gravel bike. So I thought I'd revisit that video. If you haven't watched it, by the way, there's a link to it up there. Now, if you are new to this channel and you look around pointing and you see there is no link, the reason for that is I used to watch, I still do, I watch videos on YouTube and people say there's a link to the video up there and I look and I can't see the link. So I thought, well, well there must be something I'm doing wrong. So perhaps if I just point up there, you'll see the link. Now I do appreciate, I do appreciate that that joke is wearing a little bit thin and if you didn't see the video where I first made reference to that, you'll just think I'm being an idiot. But the fact is, I don't know how to put a link up there, or there, or there, or there, to my video about seven reasons not to buy a gravel bike. So if you'd like to say in the comments how I do that, I would appreciate it. So, the seven reasons. First of all, I said there is no gravel. Now, lots of people, lots of people said, oh, well, you should come to, you should come to Hampshire, or you should come to Dorset, or you should come to Canada come to Colorado, you should come to South Australia, you should come to uh, Turkey, you should come to South Africa, you should come to Colombia, you should come to Hong Kong. 
because we've got loads of gravel. Can I just say, uh, thanks, thanks. I really appreciate all you people around the world who've got gravel routes and all of the invitations that you've sent to me. You've said you want me to come out with that. I have spent the last couple of days booking flights. So I'm going to turn up in each of these locations where you've said there's wonderful gravel. I'm going to turn up on your door because I've looked up your address. I'm going to have my bike and you've agreed you're going to put me up for a couple of days and you're going to show me all over the gravel routes. But where I am, and this was really the thrust of my video, where I am in Kent, right? Kent, which is in southern England. Uh, it's called the Garden of England. Uh, it's called the Garden of the Western World, funnily enough, and the, the Garden of the, the Modern World, um, because it's an enormous garden. Uh, it's, uh, uh, there's a patio. Uh, patio is quite big. Uh, there's, a, there's a pool. pool is quite small. Um, there's a couple of rose beds. Uh, and there's some apple apple trees, some apple trees and a, um, uh, another fruit. What's another fruit? A pear. There's apple trees and there's a pear tree. And it's called the Garden of England. There's a, there's a barbecue in, in the corner. Uh, there's a climbing frame because there are some young people that live in Kent. Uh, there is, uh, what, what is, what else is there? There's a small, there's a small plastic uh, goal, um, goal, not goal, what do you call it? Yeah, it's a small plastic goal with a net for young children who want to play football. So it's it's the Garden of England and it's called that for, for a reason. So if you ever come to, to England, uh, go and see the garden. Flowers are very pretty in the springtime and go and see it. So where I am in Kent, in the Garden of England, there is very little gravel. So I bought a gravel bike. Uh, did I buy a gravel bike under false pretenses? No, I bought a gravel bike because it was a bike and I wanted a gravel bike, but there is no gravel where I live. I recently saw by the way, uh, on on the internet, that NASA, uh, there's a, a NASA probe which has been uh, flying around, flying around the planets and and the solar system, and they have identified that on Mars, uh, yes, it's surprising, it's on Mars there are there are gravel routes, and they've even seen some gravel bikes. There's no sign of intelligent life, but there is sign of gravel bikes. There is sign of of gravel routes. Uh, kind of dirt, dirt trails, uh, or, uh, or or other kinds of road are available in uh, in the Garden of England. So, if you go to Mars, uh, take your bike because uh, uh, rental rental facilities haven't haven't started up yet. Um, but you can do some some gravel riding. So, all of you people from around the world who've said to me you've got wonderful gravel, the gravel you've got is nothing, nothing. I tell you, compared to what there is on the red planet. Now, the second reason I said was. It's just a bike. Now here it is. Right here is my gravel bike, and this is a Fairlight Seacan. By the way, it's made of steel. It is a wonderful bike. Uh, I said it's just a bike, and it is just a bike. Does it need to have a name? Well, various people said, "Well, why can't you have a gravel bike? Why can't you call it a gravel bike? Why can't you have a touring bike? Why can't it be a, a hardtail mountain bike with suspension?" Uh, all, all these other things. And I, I appreciate your comments. You're hundred percent right. There is absolutely no reason why if you want to have a gravel bike you shouldn't have a gravel bike please go ahead be my guest buy one like i buy one like i bought one rather but just just remember it, it's just a bike what makes it different it's got uh it's got wider tires you can put wider tires on lots of bikes it's got it's got low gears we can put low gears on lots of bikes uh what else has it's got it's got um uh, uh it's got a name uh gravel gravel bike yeah um, so what I suggest you do, if you're short of money, uh, you'd like a gravel bike, but you can't afford a gravel bike, I suggest you just go out on your bike. And then when people say to you, what sort of bike is that? You say, it's a gravel bike. It's a gravel bike. And they say, is it? You say, yeah. Well, you want to make something of it? You, you want to call me a liar? You're calling me a liar? You're saying it's not a gravel bike. It's a gravel bike. I say it's a gravel bike. <laughs> Okay. Do you ride on any gravel? Of course I don't. Nobody rides on gravel. I ride on the road. I have my gravel bike and I ride on the road. That's what it's for. So, it's a bike. Reason number three, I said, was all marketing hype. Well, is there anything wrong with marketing hype? No, not really. I'm all in favour of marketing hype. If you can take a product and a product like a gravel bike, and you can take somebody like me, uh, reasonably handsome, uh, new haircut, uh, nice outfit like this, and you can put me on a bike and you take a photograph of me in uh, uh, Kazakhstan 
or the Atlas Mountains in Morocco with the uh, the sun making those funny funny shapes, you know, because of the when you stop down the lens, you, you know what I'm talking about, and the dust dust particles, the dust particles float in in the sun ray, and I'm riding along, and I have this smug expression on my face. I'm a I'm an old guy, so I'm retired, so I've got plenty of money, so I can afford a nice bike, I can go to the Atlas Mountains in Morocco, I can ride around, somebody can take a photograph of me, put it in a magazine, you think I want to be like that guy. You look at that, you look at that magazine, or you look at that advert on, on YouTube and you say, I want to be, I want to be Julian. I want to, I want to have red hair going a bit grey. Uh, I want to have a bit of stubble because I haven't, I haven't shaved. I want to have a nice new haircut. I want to get one of those black polo shirts with old Portland CC written on it. And I'm, it, it, see, it's, it's aspirational. And I want to be like them, right? The, these, these guys who've got the, the big beards and the peaky blinders caps and, and the tattoos, right? And I'm thinking, if I watch this video, right? If I watch this video, I'll have a tattoo, right? And I'll be, and I'll be cool. And I'll be handsome. Well, I'm handsome already, but I'll, I'll be more handsome. And I'll be in the Atlas Mountains on a gravel bike. Uh, surrounded by, uh, uh, I was going to say beautiful women, but that, sound, that sounds sexist. I'd be, I'd be surrounded by other people on bikes, other people on expensive gravel bikes because I'm part of the marketing hype. So nothing wrong with marketing hype. Buy into it. Swallow, swallow it? Is that the right word? Swallow it. Yeah, take it. Watch the adverts. That's, that's why adverts work. Adverts on this channel raise money for charity. Adverts on other people's channels raise money for themselves. That, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, they can have the money. I'm going to give them the money for charity. May not give all the money to charity. I think it's fair to, to note that in case people pull me up on it and say, well, you promised this and then you, then you didn't do it. So uh, watch, watch the video. Watch the adverts. Help raise money for charity. Marketing hype. What's wrong with it? Nothing is wrong with it. Reason number four, tubeless tyres. Now, I take nothing back from what I said about tubeless tyres. And for all those people, and there were lots of them, who said, well, I've been running these tyres for two years and I've done 25,000 miles and I've never had a puncture. Or, I don't know why I'm saying it in that funny voice, actually. They, they, they made the comment underneath my video. For, so for me to suggest they made a comment in a particular kind of voice is, is, is ridiculous. So let, let me take that back. Or they say, they say, um, well, you don't know how to fit them. You don't know how to fit them. That's you see. Get learn how to use tubeless tires properly, and and they'll be all right. Or they say, well, the the Dyna plug system worked all right for me. Or I've been using uh, Billy Bob's sealant for the last fourteen years, and my dad used Billy Bob uh, when he landed at Anzio, and never caused him a problem. Or um, here in uh, uh, here in Nebraska, right? Here in Nebraska, we use Billy Bob sealant all the time, and it works perfectly. So I say to all you people who use tubeless tires without any trouble whatsoever, I say, I'm glad. I I bow my head to you, and I say I am so grateful that the good Lord has put His hand on you and given you tubeless tires that work. But for me. Well, except for these, but these are tubeless tyres, but they've got Tannis Armour inserts in them, so they're not really tubeless tyres. I mean, and in fact, they've got a tube in them, so they've got a tube, they've got a Tannis Armour insert. By the way, there's a link to my video about an unboxing of Tannis Armour inserts out there, only it isn't, because of the reason I said earlier. So I'm using tubeless tyres, but I'm not using them tubeless. And I think, have I just, I may just have stumbled on something, actually, that the secret is to buy tubeless tyres, but don't use them tubeless. And that way you can be part of the, the tubeless community because you want to be part of that tubeless community. But be honest, I want to be part of that tubeless community in the same way I wanted to be part of the gravel bike community. Every, everybody's doing it. I want, I want to be cool and handsome on a gravel bike with tubeless tyres and low gears and that endurance geometry and all that and all those bike packing bags and stuff like that. I wanted all that. I wanted to buy into it. So I've, I've bought into it. I've got the gravel bike. I've got the tubeless tyres. I'm not using them tubeless, but nobody has to know that. You don't have to know that, right? Just, just, just pretend. I'm using them tubeless and everything works out just fine.
I have to remind myself there's seven reasons today. Can you imagine? Um, I'm 64 years old. I make, a, I make a video with seven reasons and I can't remember what the seven reasons are. It, it, I'm, not, I'm not suffering from one of those illnesses. No, I'm not suffering from one of those illnesses. Not yet, anyway. Um, number five was about... No, I forgot. I forgot. What, what was I saying? Oh, yes, N plus one. That's right. And I was saying all this N plus stuff one is, is nonsense. Well, it is nonsense. And I, and I speak of, of somebody who owns quite a few bikes, right? And my advice to you is, if you want to buy another bike and you can afford it, buy another bike. I have a saying, which is, life is short, buy the bike, right? If you can afford it, if you want it, if it looks nice, if it's going to make you feel cool, if it's going to make you happy in these difficult times, buy the sodding bike, right? Don't let your children go hungry. Don't, uh, don't neglect your, what's the word? Don't neglect your duties to your family. If you have children, you need to support your, your children. If you uh, have a spouse, whether you're male or female and your spouse doesn't work and they need supporting, support your spouse. Uh, pay your rent, buy your food, support your family, take part in the community, donate to a food bank, help others. And if you've got some money left over and you want to buy a bike, buy a bike. I'm not here to tell you that you shouldn't follow the N plus one route. In fact, I would say follow N plus two, N plus three, N plus four, N plus four plus one, where the one is a gravel bike. Buy a gravel bike because you know it makes sense. Reason number six was about bridleways. I take nothing back from what I said about bridleways. I said that a bridleway is a piece of dirt covered shit. No, I said it was a shit covered ditch where you have to share the route with horses, dogs, old people, children and walkers. And I take nothing back from that. Horses, I, I, don't, I don't get the whole horse business. I've got nothing, nothing against horses, right? Some of my best friends are horses. I've voted for some horses in my lifetime. We've got a government made up of horses. Who am I to complain about horses? I've got nothing against horses. I just don't, I just don't get the reverence for horses. Now, I'm not going to get that. In, I know that's going to get me into a lot of trouble, but I just don't get it, right? Old people, I don't get the reverence for old people. I really don't. I'm 64. I know lots of people who are older than me are. You're not any smarter because you're old. You're not any nicer because you're old. You're not any more worthy of respect because you're old. It is not an achievement to be old, right? Let me let you into a secret, guys. It's easy to get old. You do it by not dying. Now, I remember... Woody Allen had, had, this, had this great line where uh, somebody said to him about, about being immortal. He, he said, I don't, want to become, I don't want to be immortal through my works. I want to achieve immortality by not dying. Now, getting old is easy. And it's a matter of luck. And if you get there, good luck to you. I hope you're very happy. I hope you enjoy your life. I hope your grandchildren are nice to you. But I don't get the reverence for the old. And children, I, lo I, love, I love children. I, do, I have two children of my own. They are the light of my life. They have made everything that I do in my life is worthwhile. Everything that I have done, everything that I will ever do is for my children. And, and cycling. And, 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 and my wife. And... and um, uh, and, and photography, yeah. And, and it's not, so it's not just... Everything I do is for my children, kids, and I love you. But other people's kids... <sighs> Let me just leave that there, shall I? Dogs. I'm a cat person. We have cats. We've always had cats. I've never, I've never been against dogs, and my wife is, is leaning around now to a time when she would like a dog, and I'm, and I'm saying get a dog. So my view of dogs is, is changing a bit. What I don't like about the old dog issue is when, is when they, they come up to you and, and they want to have sex with you, or they want, to, they want to stick their muzzle into your crotch, or whatever it is, or when they start barking at you. And I'm, I'm, I, I don't deny, after, after 
64 years of not really being that keen on dogs. I am a little bit frightened of, of big dogs and, and little dogs and, and medium sized dogs too. I know, I know everyone says, oh, he, he wouldn't hurt a fly, he's lovely and his bark is worse than his bite and all that and so forth. And I'm sure it's true, but I'm, I'm, just, not, I'm just not a dog person. And as for walkers, I, I like walking. I go walking, I love walking. I could, I could walk forever, I could walk, to, I could walk to the shops and back. I can, I walk to my car and, and when I park my car, I walk from my car to wherever I have to go there, from there. I love walking. I have nothing against walkers. My point about walkers was that walkers aren't very keen on cyclists where they say they should share the same path. Some walkers, not all walkers. And it was in the context of that that I was a little bit sniffy about walkers. So and I don't, I don't really take anything, of, any of that back. And my seventh reason was about bike packing. And if you go, you have a gravel bike, you've got bike packing bags, you want to go bike packing, go bike packing. You want to, you want to sleep outside in the pouring rain when it's freezing cold under a, a tarp or, or what is it that, that guy on YouTube that I watch, a hammock. That's it, a, a hammock under a tarp. He, he kind of strings a hammock between two trees and he puts a, a kind of tarp over him and, and that's, his, that's his sleep system. When I was, when I was younger, when I was about 19, um, I slept on a beach in Greece, I slept on a beach in Israel, and I really enjoyed it. And, and sleeping out in the open, it, it's, maybe I've gotten soft, maybe I've, I've gotten old, maybe I've spent too many nights in nice hotels and had hotel breakfast that I'm I'm just not keen on on cooking some cold pasta on a pot boiling in the middle of the forest I'm not I was a hippie I, I wasn't a real hippie but I mean I, I was a sort of hippie but it was never about and I, I never wanted to live in a clearing in in the forest I, I didn't and I, I never really wanted to have a VW camper van I quite want one I quite fancy one now but the camping bit, I just don't get it. And I mean, if you if you love camping, and if you go bike packing and you enjoy bike packing, you like going out in the open air. Then I say, great, good on you. I I wish I could join you, in your in your freezing cold two person tent with your bivy bag over your head and the mosquitoes sharing your leaving quarters. I wish I could, right? And, and I wish. And you'd probably say, well, do it, Julian, you'd enjoy it. And I'm sure you're right, but it's just, it's not, it's not for me. A, a nice hotel, American Express card, uh, my, a, a driver following behind with my bags. That, that's the bike packing. That's the bike packing I want to do. Uh, and I've been on a number of trips with Marmot Tours. You, you ride your bike, they carry the stuff in the van. And I love that. that that's, that's Julian's bike packing. That's the best bike packing. So... I want to thank once again all of you who've watched the previous video, who've enjoyed it, who've made comments, who've argued the toss about it, who've said I'm an idiot, who said you disagree vehemently, who've said you don't you don't know whether I'm serious or whether I'm I'm or whether I'm not serious. If it made you laugh, I'm really happy. I'm really pleased with that. Um, and I hope lots more people watch it. I hope you share my enjoyment in cycling and in gravel cycling and my love of my gravel bike and if you want to get a gravel bike go and get a gravel bike my videos raise money for the vine food bank the vine food bank in croydon which is in the uk i want to thank you for watching and i'm sorry this was such a long one but i'll see you next time